Belt Drive Betty gets up close and personal with Darby Mills. So who is Darby Mills? Where do you come from, my girl? Well, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a daughter. I'm a mother of two incredible sons. I'm a wife. I've been married for 32 years. I'm a singer. I'm, um, I was an athlete. And, uh, I'm me, you know? Like, um, I'm me. That's who I am. <laughs> Where do I come from? Literally. And musically, um, musically, I'm, I started s listening to my father sing when I was very, very young. Um, we had a cabin out at Maple Lake, and we'd lay on the on the driftwood in the logs beside the fire, and I would listen to my dad, who was a um, incredible singer, who is an incredible singer. He's still with us, and he would sing out and his voice would echo across the lake all the way to the other side and you could see the bonfires on the other side of the lake and when he'd finish singing you would hear people clapping and that registered with me right from two and three years old I thought that was the coolest thing and I figured that one day I wanted to feel that appreciation I think that's what it was. Um, so musically, I was from a very young age uh, tuned into the give and take of music, and then um, a high school, I managed to join my first band, and uh, I sang the very first song I sang was "Crazy on You" by Heart because they were a huge influence. The Dreamboat Annie album was a huge influence on me, and so. Um, they invited me into the band and we got some new members and um, after about three, four good rehearsals, one of them said to me, you know, you sound a lot like Janis Joplin and I didn't know who Janis Joplin was. And so they brought over the Pearl album and I listened to it and listened to it and went, okay, that's who I sound like, so I, I guess that's good. I didn't know. I didn't know. I do now. But, so she, Ann Wilson, and Janis Joplin, and then another friend brought me into a, to a completely different realm, which was Linda Ronstadt and, and the Eagles. Um, and so, musically, who am I? I'm, I'm somewhat diverse. And then I left home right after graduation. I loaded up my gremlin and moved to Calgary and joined, I don't know, a handful of bands in Calgary. but ended up leaving Calgary, auditioning in Edmonton for a seven-piece black band from Harlem, New York. And that was an incredible experience. Uh, I auditioned, I don't know, 50 other people auditioned, I think, at Lucifer's Nightclub in, in Edmonton. And I got the gig and headed out on the road, two bands, and me and the guys, and um, that lasted about Two months when I ran into a band called Steelback, ended up leaving. They were playing rock and roll because the um, Harlem band was uh, disco. So I've got some disco roots in me. I was ringing or singing Donna Summers and Anita Ward and and doing disco steps on stage. The boys and I would dance and um, it was great and and just. Three, four years ago, I've come back in touch with some of them, and and uh, just great, great memories I, I have of business before pleasure is what they were called. But I left and went with Steel back to Victoria, and uh, a year and a half later, I was in the headpins, and that was 36 years ago. Darby, I understand you've left the headpins, so why and what's next? Yes.
I am no longer with the Headbands, that's right. I, um, internally there was just, there were things going on that, that weren't, weren't working for me and, um, <laughs> last, two years ago I lost my mom and six months later my husband had a heart attack and, and we did lose him for 15 minutes. He was gone, they brought him back, they broke. 10 ribs and it just kind of changed my attitude towards life and, and uh, how long we're here and how lucky we are to be here and how unlucky others are. So with that and, and then just some internal problems with the head pins, it was, it was, time, it was time to take the wheel and drive and, and try to deliver um, more of me than, than the head pins was letting me give. And that goes back to not not necessarily the disco era, but there's some great stuff I did back then, and and Linda Ronstadt and and Marshall Tucker and and the blues aspect of life that that I did go through. So um, I mean, really, I, I am a blues singer, I think. <laughs> anyway, so uh, who, who I'm no longer with the Headpins. Um, yeah, uh, I do wish them. I, I do wish them well. Uh, everybody deserves to be able to play and and make a living at playing. And, and so I hope uh, I hope they continue on. And and uh, I hope they let me. I've put together a new band over the last year while while breaking up with the headbands um, with some great '80s musicians that were around when I was kicking around with Steelback and so they watched the the rise and, and fall and the rise again of the headpins and they've been through that with me. They were through the eighties and that's a that's a that's a whole era that you have to live through to understand and I don't believe that will ever happen again and I'm truly grateful to have gone through that era. But uh, they were there, they saw it and so um, having them step up when I gave them a call and say, yeah, I'm in, I want to do this with you, Darby. Uh, I'm, I'm so grateful to them and they are very supportive and protective of me, I believe, at this point. And so they want to see me uh, stretch my wings a little bit. So uh, we've been practicing um, pretty hard. We're, uh, we're four shows in at this point. We've got, I believe, five more shows booked and uh, there appear to be some more phone calls coming in and lots of people connecting so uh, I'm hoping we're going to get an opportunity to to, uh, to hit all of Canada and uh, you know lo and behold there were some times that we uh, soared the charts over in Europe so maybe we'll try and hit Europe or, or make it across the wall and go down to the United States, I don't know. <laughs> Well, we're gonna do our best. Uh, I'd like to. I'd like to be around for another 10, 15 years. So, um, gonna relax a little bit. Uh, try not to sing so hard all the time, and yet singing hard is. That's. That's who I was right from the beginning. So, uh, I'm looking forward to this new part of my my adventure, and uh, I hope you are too.